Hi everyone, Tom Greaves here from Dot Product. In this video, we're going to look at five ways of getting the data from your DPI-7 or DPI-8 tablet back to your work computer. Method number one involves using a simple USB connection between the tablet and your PC. The micro USB connection goes into the tablet. The regular USB-A connection goes into your laptop or desktop machine. And then we use Windows Explorer in the case of a Windows machine, or we use Android File Transfer in the case of a Mac to move the data from the tablet to the work computer. Method number two uh, requires that we have a Wi-Fi connection. So uh, if we have a Wi-Fi connection, we connect the tablet and then we use an application like Dropbox to move the data from the tablet to the Dropbox server. Method number three is similar. If we have a Wi-Fi connection, then we can set up an FTP link and transfer the data to an FTP host uh, directly from the tablet. Method number four is quite different. The NVIDIA Shield, the NVIDIA EVGA, and the HP Slate 7 Extreme tablets all come with a microSD slot. So we can use a microSD card as the transfer medium. We write the data from the tablet uh, storage to the microSD card and then read the microSD card data with a reader uh, connected to our work computer. The last method is, is similar to the fourth method, but this time we connect a USB dongle directly to the tablet, and I'll, I'll show you how to do that. The first one we'll talk about is connecting the tablet directly to the PC. So I've just connected the USB cable that is uh, for charging the uh, tablet. I've connected the micro USB end to the tablet and the USB-A end I've connected to my laptop. When we do that, we see I've got in Windows Explorer, we see the device here, and we can see that we have uh, all of the directories of uh, point cloud files. So, and it's just a question of going into that point cloud directory, grabbing a file, I'll grab this one, and we can drag it to a folder I've already created on the desktop point clouds folder. Obviously, you could drag this anywhere. So we open that up, and there's the file. So that's the very easy way of moving the data from the tablet to the PC. The next method I'm going to show is how to get your data from the tablet to a Dropbox account. To do that, you'll first need to set up a Wi-Fi connection. Go to Settings, Google Settings. There we go. And select the Wi-Fi uh, button here and set up your directory. I'm already connected, so we, won't, uh, we don't need to do that. So then next, we need to have a Dropbox account. I've already installed a Dropbox account on this device. You can see it uh, here. Um, but if you don't have Dropbox, what you do is you go to uh, Play Store and do a search in the Apps section for Dropbox, just like that, and up it comes. I'll select this, and as I've already installed it, I've previously installed it, all I need to do is open it. But if you haven't installed it, you can install it here. So I've got a, a personal account and a dot .product account. So we'll come back to that in just a minute. We're going to go back to ES File Explorer. And I'm going to go to the home page. And then I'm going to select the SD card. This is the root directory of the storage on the tablet. And I'll scroll down to the familiar point cloud file. Point clouds directory, excuse me. And then I'll select this uh, folder here, Eaton, and we're going to move this file panel 3 underscore C. I select it by a long hold that uh, lights up the checkbox. Then I select the More button, and then I select the Share button. And when I select the Share button, I'm given the option to add it to Dropbox, so I'll select that. And because I've already opened Dropbox previously, I can, I'm taken there directly. And I'm going to go up to the scan data. And we're going to create a, a new folder for this uh, data that we're going to copy across. 
So I'll hit that, and we're going to call this folder uh, Dropbox Phi 3D. Great. And then I'm just going to hit the Add button to move that file into that folder. So I'm taken back to ES File Explorer. We'll go back and have a look at this in uh, Dropbox. And I'll drill down to the, uh, I have to drill down to the scan data directory where I stored this previously. Let's scroll up. Lots of files here you can see. And we've got Dropbox 5.3D, and there's the file. So um, it goes up there quite quickly with a decent uh, Wi-Fi connection. The files are quite small, so they're readily uh, transmitted this way. So that's the uh, second method, using Dropbox. And again, just to summarize, you do need a, a Wi-Fi connection that you can connect the tablet to, and you need a valid Dropbox account to move the data into. The third method I'm going to show uses an FTP connection to get the data from the tablet to your uh, FTP server. So the first thing we'll need to do is set up the FTP account. I'll go to uh, ES File Explorer, go back to the home page, and then I scroll down to uh, Network. So we go to the FTP directory, and then we're going to add a new FTP connection. So the one we're going to use is FTP dot Okay, we're all set. There, it's created uh, this folder. I've set up the FTP server. So next I go back to the local directory, to the SD card, and we'll go down, navigate down to the point clouds directory. And we're going to move that same file across. I select it with a long hold, and then I go copy. And then I navigate back to the FTP server. That's under the network folder. FTP, go there. And I go paste. And there I, we can see the file being copied to the FTP directory. The speed of the copying depends on of course, the Wi-Fi connection that you have and how quickly your this, the receiving server can take the data. So that's a pretty good sized file, almost uh, 30 megabytes, and it just takes uh, a few seconds to come across, about 10 or 15 seconds. Okay, so there it is in the FTP directory, and of course you can access uh, that FTP directory from any remote computer that allows you uh, FTP access. The fourth method to get your data from your tablet to your work computer is to use a microSD card as the transfer medium. I have a microSD card on my fingers here. It's uh, tiny. This is a 32 gigabyte uh, card. I'm going to insert it in the slot on the tablet. It's up near the volume control. And the art of this is to insert it without damaging it. It's tiny. So gentle is the order of the day. So I've got it in about the right position. And I'm just going to push it down gently until it latches. There we go. And I'll put the dust cover back on. So next we're going to have a look for that card in ES File Explorer. And I open it up. There it is. Um, so SD0 in ES File Explorer is the root storage directory for the tablet. I'm going to copy a file from there. Uh, let me pick one. How about this one? And I'll just select copy. Then I'm going to select the SD card. This is the micro SD card and I'm going to create a new directory to put that in. We're going to call this temp3 
and we've created this directory temp3. I'm going to navigate to it and we'll just paste that file and it's copying right now. So that goes pretty quickly. That's a 250 megabyte file. Just takes a few seconds. And there it is. Uh, that file is now available on the microSD card. So with that we'll move to the PC and show, bring up that file, copy it from the microSD card to, to the PC. So I removed that dust cover and then I'm going to extract the card. Very similar operation to the one I did previously. Just push down on it until it unlatches. And it can be a little tricky to get out. There we go. A little performance anxiety doing this in front of a camera. Then we insert this card in the card reader like that. And then it's a question of just inserting this card reader in a USB slot on my PC. And that familiar little double beep to indicate that it's been recognized. And we navigate to the Windows Explorer and there's the micro SD card and I'm going to be looking for temp3 there it is and there's the file that I copied so I can drag that uh, I'll just uh, copy make a copy and I'll drag that over to the desktop and I'll make a new directory we'll call this new folder 2 and we'll paste and it's as simple as that there we have the file copying to the uh, temporary directory on my laptop from the micro SD card. Okay, the last method we're going to show is using a USB drive uh, to transfer data from the tablet uh, to your work PC. So the hardware step of this is to take the OTG cable which comes with your system the OTG cable connects the sensor uh, to the tablet. So you take that uh, one end of the OTG cable and connect it to the tablet just as you would normally. And the other end you connect a USB stick to. I'll plug this in and I'm asked if I want to allow open US ES File Explorer when this USB connected. Sure, we'll go OK. And then when we do that we see, um, I'll just go to the local page in ES File Explorer, and we see at the bottom two drives. The SD drive, which is the storage uh, on the tablet, the directory where we keep uh, all of our data, and we also see the USB drive, which we've just uh, connected. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new folder on the USB drive, and we're going to copy some data to it. So we'll call this uh, new folder, let's call it uh, dot underscore temp. Okay, and there, there it is up here. We have the dot temp folder ready to uh, receive some data. So I'll go back to the SD card, scroll down, and I'll find a, a point cloud that I want to move. Uh, we'll pick this one, long press to select, and I go copy, and then we'll go back to the USB drive, and we'll go to this uh, dot temp folder we've just created, and paste. And there we have it. We've copied the data from the tablet storage to the USB drive. So when we disconnect this USB drive and connect it to our PC, we'll have the data. Uh, we can go the other direction too, it's a very similar operation. I have found that sometimes when you connect a USB drive that you don't, you lack the permission to um, to write to it. So there's a procedure, uh, you'll be prompted, you'll, you'll get a query to grant permission. Um, it's uh, 
very straightforward. I already have permission here, so I can't can't demonstrate that. But don't be alarmed if you see that. Okay, that's it.